everyone. Um, welcome back to the classroom management series, helping one educator at a time. I have my coffee. Um, go ahead and grab your coffee and uh, join me for um, talking about classrooms. I'm going to throw some tips out for keeping it real in the classroom. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with just organizing your time in the classroom. So um, there are two different ways that a period can be broken up. It can either be a 40 minute block of time or it can be an 80 minute block of time. Uh, generally, the 40 minutes is for teaching elementary. An 80 minute block of time is for teaching um, the secondary um, students, which are your middle school students and your high school students. Um, teaching for 40 minutes, that can be very um, overwhelming um, and it can be frustrating. This is a kind of a craft that you will get better at over time. Um, it's something when you practice it over and over again, you will slowly improve on your classroom procedures and um, your timing in the classroom. Having a set plan um, for the period really helps. Um, it helps you to break up the time. It kind of doesn't leave you as overwhelmed either or frustrated um, with the, the procedures of the classroom. So let's get into it. Breaking up a 40 minute class period. What does that look like? So a good way to start off your 40 minutes is to have about 10 minutes of in introducing your lesson and um, for the first time. And then you want to break it up with 20 minutes of individual class time where the students can just individually work on their assignment, whether it's a writing assignment or it's an art project. You want to leave about 10 minutes for cleanup for students. Um, for classes, you want to know your classes. So if there's students that you know take a little bit longer cleaning up, you may want to add a few extra minutes to that 10 minutes because um, you also want to keep in mind they need to wash hands and line up um, for their teacher or their next transition for the next class. Um, so you want to give them time to make that transition. So I hope that you found these tips really um, useful. I hope you use them in the classroom. Um, my next video, definitely check it out. It's going to be about how to run an 80-minute class period and how does that look when you're breaking up the time as an educator. Don't forget to um, definitely like the video comment below and definitely share to other educators that could use this information as well. Thanks for joining me guys and see you in the next video. Bye.